I was a dam builder. <laughs> <laughs> a place called away. Boulder on the wild Colorado. He wasted away. It's pretty good. good I slipped and fell into the wet semen below. You need a guitar. <laughs> Paul, I, nobody ever paused those dudes. No one ever paused them. He fell into wet semen? <laughs> he said cement, but yeah. Oh, at least I <laughs> yeah. fell into the wet semen below. Yeah, dude, that must have been funny. If you got the three, the highway men, yeah. If you did gay stuff to them, they would have the fucking oh, be lost it, dude. Hey, knock it the fuck okay, off, hey. man. <laughs> We're trying to play the guitars. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, stop fucking showing me your dick, pal. <laughs> that ain't funny around here. <laughs> yeah, those are your balls. What the hell? My horny needed cock. Sure, I'll take a piece of bubble gum. What the hell? <laughs> That's your testicle skin, partner. Get your goddamn scrotum out of here. <laughs> Kick don't, his ass. Don't show your scrotum in funky this. Funky Donnie Fritz, get him. Funky. <laughs> God damn it, Funky. Don't how, touch him. How the fuck did you guys get into that? What? That song. Highway Old Man. Country? That was Matt's, what was the name of your playlist? Oh, Introspective Badass Playlist. Introspective Badass. <laughs> well, you've come across the same genre yourself. At a certain point, you can only listen to Introspective Badass songs. Yeah. Your brother's turned me on to some beat songs. True. In Florida. What was he hitting you? Some yacht rock? No, but he's got like a, it's like a deeper yacht rock. It's like more of Emotionally, and oh, soft rock. You're talking soft rock. You're talking soft rock. Yeah, talking yeah, soft introspective rock. badass soft rock. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> soft rock is like for the ladies. There's two. There's two families of soft rock. One's for the ladies, and one's just for a dude being yeah, like. Well, one's where for party am I time. Going with myself. Yeah. You one's for on. sitting in your bed, just staring at the wall. Exactly. It's all dudes do. They don't have a girlfriend. You stare at the wall. Yeah. You have and to stare die. at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly fucking die. Yeah. You need a woman just filling you with bad ideas. And you go, wait, what? No. That's what keeps you alive. It does. Her mouth and bad ideas. <laughs> oh. Otherwise, you it wither you away. Moving. You wouldn't move otherwise. Dude, if yeah. I didn't have a wife, I'd stop moving. Like, tomorrow, I'd just be like. Yeah. Yes. God. I'd be like, this is so relaxing. Then I'd just be like. <sighs> I know this isn't good to talk about, but if you did, <laughs> if your family left, mm -hmm. how many days do you think you would lay down? That's a great question. Like, for real, to catch, get up, catch some Z's. Dude, not exaggerating. Catch up on some Z's. Not even depressing Z's, just like. It would be. Fully. All the Z's he's lost. Yeah, just less. like my biological. I feel like you were to like. If you were to suspend my physical organism out of my family structure, or yeah. I was just laying there, yeah, dude, I'd be. You'd catch these a week. It'd you'd be. You'd have a week. to go back to being. You'd become a feral pig again, dude. I'd wait. I'd your sleep. Horns. I would you sleep tusks. for a week straight. Yeah, I always I thought would, about that in Jack Bauer. You know, say twenty four hours to do some yeah. wild shit, like just show a sketch of him the next twenty four four hours, yeah, just, dude. <laughs> Just get up and piss yeah. and eat McDonald's. I knew a dude who used to hold it down, where he would tell his wife, he's like, "I need two weeks." No questions asked. Catch you later. And he said he would just fuck chicks. Just go nuts, dude. Like with the puss? Everything. Really? Coke, hooker, everything. H how he often would, just, would the two weeks come in? Huh? How often? Well, like, what's the distance? I think he would just, I think the, the wolf would howl within him and he'd be like, <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. And he would just go fucking nuts. That's kind of introspective badass, though. Just like, it is. Hey, ma'am, I gotta hit to the tavern. <laughs> yeah. Where's my guitar? I gotta, Six. I gotta quench my thirst with whiskey. <laughs> yeah, he would just, be, and he would like explain this to me. I'm like, okay. And she was yeah. cool with it. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think no, so. No, I don't think all. it worked, right? Didn't you tell me? I it think didn't... the party got away from, I think the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde situation. And, yeah. Yes. That yeah. party week. Mr. Go, Hyde fucking took over. Yeah, you go, I'm never going home. Yeah. I like the party week. It's like, I'll bring the town beach week. You bring the party <laughs> closer to you. Yeah, you're like, Airbnb. I can bring the party right down the street. Yeah. And then the Why party. Don't I just keep the party right here. The party takes over. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being younger, being like, it's kind of boss to be. Like, when I was younger, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. You just disappear for two weeks and do blow. Two weeks hooks. is a lot. I mean, two weeks, I've, two weeks I've heard buddies have weekends. Time. Yeah. It's a long time. Every few months, you get a weekend to go AC and fuck off. Two yeah. weeks. He's got no kids. Mm, I don't want to give him too, any, too much identifying information, but he. Oh had, man, he was so interested. He's embedded in, in, in a family. Yeah. That's Although a, he's embedded. He's embedded in a family, but the the uh, 
Yeah, that was. I, it's got to be nuts though, because then when you're like, okay, I've had enough, it's got to be. You got to be the saddest dude. After those two like, weeks, oh. you'd be like, I love you so much. Yeah, it probably helps a little. I could see it coming home and being like, I love my wife so fucking much. I never oh, want to yeah. go back to those two weeks. Yeah, you're just, no, you know, four it days. Have to be two you weeks scream. Four just... days go by and you go, fuck, I miss those two weeks. <laughs> I fucking hate my wife. There, but there has to be, dude. Imagine the post not clarity of like you scream cummed into a hooker. Oh, <laughs> and then, dude, and then like you crash. That fucking on black dude. <laughs> 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 and you, the coke wears off, and you're just like. She's like, you want to go Waffle House? Yeah. You're like, I have to go back oh, to my family. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 <laughs> scream, the, scream, the scream come guy is still the funniest. Maybe the funniest thing. But that Chuck, oh, yeah. ba- Chuck Berry farting in a hooker's face oh, and the funny. scream come guy are the two funniest dudes. <laughs> What's the loudest grunt you've made coming? I've settled it, but I've I used to scream. I was a, I wasn't as you were a loud lover. I was a loud dude. Yeah, yeah I could hear you make love. I couldn't sometimes. help it, dude. <laughs> Now, yeah, I've heard now you made love. I've heard you make you, but, love. But a you loud, times. I mean, loud at sex, or you just a loud comer? I was just a loud comer. I, didn't, I, would, I would think I was quiet. What was decibel are we talking here? <laughs> yeah, if it was, if <laughs> it was, nuts, real. if there was no roommates around, it was, I would just fully let it go. Yeah, I couldn't help it. It felt so damn good, dude. Yeah, <laughs> if you, if you do release uh, an orgasm that loud where you're screaming, I am always worried I'm gonna fart. Oh, yeah, because that's like a you know, because Yo, you're pushing it. all the everything's everywhere. going out. <laughs> Brother, I've done, I've done it. I farted during orgasm multiple times, dude. It's it happens. Yeah, it happens. It's all right. <laughs> there was ones I I got reminded of one recently, like that one time you farted when you know when you nodded. And you I was farted. like, what? And I was like, oh, dude, I forgot. It's probably, I was getting head. It's like I, farted. A I farted during head. I'm not lying. Oh, oh no, you Chuck Berry. It felt too. Damn, <laughs> it, felt, it felt too damn good. Chuck, I was your like, wife. damn baby, you feel too damn good. It's not my fault. <laughs> it stashed my soul. Dude. That's an immediate stoppage, right? Yeah, I, I mean, coming. I mean, was coming. Oh, ball was, it, was the in the end zone. Up? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, I, the coming brought it on. <laughs> I you, man, you just blew horn while I was just popping. <laughs> <off. laughs> blew horn. No. <laughs> right as soon as she started. <laughs> Let me get settled in, babe. <laughs> it's also got to be like a urinal fart too. It's not like loud. Oh, it's just got to be like a <laughs> sweaty butt. It's also <laughs> sweaty butt, <laughs> dude. Yeah. It's sweaty butt. Uh, yeah. It's head sweaty butt. <laughs> just flapping out like a. P- <laughs> <laughs> Your legs are completely straight. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I, I, that is my personal curse that I can't come unless I'm like the nutcracker. My legs. Dude, I, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Fucking elf on the show. <laughs> For real. It's proper boxing. <laughs> no, that's not. You're not wrong. <laughs> Dude. I need a chestnut right in my jaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop. I'm going to pop. <laughs> His legs locked is a thing. Sometimes that's I'll be jacking off and be like, God damn, like my knee. You know? You ever hurt your knee yeah, while you're It's like your elbow off. after throwing yeah. darts for an yeah. hour. What the it's fuck crazy. did I do yesterday? He's limp out of the shower like, yeah. God damn, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 I just ran a mile I feel like I get I get more vocal the more I come. Like if it, if it's like a, a three day beat off, yeah, or three beat off day, like the third, I get you're going out. feral. Yeah, you start growing tusks. Well, there's yeah, no- <laughs> it's tough time. Yeah, it's tough stuff. There's nothing coming out. It's the more it, the better it feels. You're, some you're oh, the deeper you get into it. Yeah, you're saying once you get rid of all, three, once I get rid of all the cum, it's just. <laughs> But it's a it's a grunt. It's yeah. you just spaz. It's your body straining. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's your body screaming. Your body's stop. Going, stop. Just one more, babe. Yeah, just one more body. I'm come rich right now. I'll be honest. I'm personally I'm come that's rich. Good. I'm yeah. loaded, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. I just found out. I, I want to get my sperm tested, and it, they'd say you can't beat off for three days. No, so you're up out. to five. Yeah, yeah. eligible. So I'm gonna wane off. Like if I was trying to yeah. quit drinking, You're get sick. I'm only gonna drink five. It's gonna be like those day. nuclear yeah. tests in the desert. <laughs> yeah. be like my god, <laughs> <laughs> the force unleashed. Dude, our boy was saying it. The, the jerk off booths are like classic. Like there's like magazines and like VHS tapes still. Really? It's like people just go in there and they they perform like you would in the '70s or '80s, instead of just using your phone. Like they're they're grabbing VHS tapes, mm. filled I mean, with other dudes, glazed with other dudes' cum. Oh my god! Popping in a VCR, and hitting this is a buttons, viewing booth, touching buttons. What made what made you want to get your? Sperm There's just test? a guy in there jerking off with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just want. I'm, it, when I turned 44, and I was interested yeah. to see what the just boys are up to. See what's going on. True. Yeah. See if they're back swimming. See if they're just fucking. See if yeah. they're. 
I don't know. They're all gone. Singing in a circle. See if it's the a lazy river, gone. yeah. Yeah, see see how many dead soldiers we have. It's just yeah. good to know, too. Be cool to like see what's up. Yeah. Just thousands of them bloated on a especially, battlefield. <laughs> especially if you can't get pregnant or you can't inseminate. Yeah. It'd be nice to blame the woman. Never tell her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't just be ever. like, something's yeah. wrong with you. Yeah. I must 100%. go away for two weeks yeah, to find yeah, my yeah. next piglet. Yeah, it'd be 100% yes. of mine. Mine works. Yeah. It's 100%. you that's failing us. <laughs> we need an heir. Would you break up with a woman if you definitely wanted kids and you found that she couldn't? I don't know. That's a tough one. It yeah. is. It depends how much I cared about her, but yeah. Or I don't you know. just go, let's get a surrogate. Or maybe I get a sure. second girlfriend that can actually sure. handle it. Now all of a sudden we're talking a very nice fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a tough combo. Yeah. That's actually kind of yeah, that'd be, be right. kind of nice too. Just even obviously you don't fuck the surrogate, but like being like my cum's in there. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what that I mean. Anytime you see her, you go, God damn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my jizz is in there. <laughs> Hopefully, just get reminded of her breakfast. Like, wait, so I don't. I'm, this whole thing's kind of mystifying me. Where's my cum exactly? <laughs> it's is in your <laughs> lady. Nice. I'll be it's right in your pussy. <laughs> That's good to hear. I'll give you twenty grand. <laughs> Carry my seed, or just to make it like her feel better about the thing, you could shoot into her and have her drip it into the. Other oh lady. my god! Just to keep everyone in they the latch. Come swap. Just yeah. so people don't feel ever left out. Like spit it in there. <laughs> just so people don't feel left out. Like an avatar tail. <laughs> just two fucking labias. Just <laughs> yeah, that's an unfortunate circumstance people run into, and you have to just be like, you'd have to be like, all right, we're going to adopt ten kids. We're going to adopt yeah. 10 kids and we're going to hold down a 1950s household where you have to do everything. Yeah. If you have the money, it's nice to collect them like trading cards, get all different colors and shit. We can get foster kids and get paid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just get a wild ass family. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm talking native to Cambodian. The whole thing. Yeah. There's not a big jump there, native to Cambodian. <laughs> they look the exact same. They look very similar. <laughs> Um, it's a poignant observation. It is. Well, you know, yeah. similar, close, close to the equator. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you want more of a continuum. Yeah. I, I want. That. Yeah, I want. Siberian. I'm, dude, I'm just fucking mad at Beyonce right now. What's wrong with her? What? Did you read her lady? Did you see her movie? She sucks, dude. She's turning into Oprah for me. I can't stand to look at her now. What happened? She's just too dramatic with all her fucking riches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, her. She put out her a movie riches. now. Yeah. She's acting. Her she, I'm so tired of her, her acting spoils? fucking normal. Yeah. It's like get the fuck. You're you are an empress. Yeah, she is. Now you sound like a part of the beehive. <laughs> you called her empress. Yeah, I did. No, she, dude, dude, she, she put out a movie like Taylor Swift. I didn't, I, apparently it's the thing. They're putting out like tour yeah. movies They're now. concerts, yeah. Concert movies. So the she bi- put bi- out a bon- yeah. concert movie written, directed, produced by the Queen Bee herself, obviously. It, nice. Yeah, she Queen directed Bee. it? Yeah, dude. Nice. It just says so much. I mean, a lot of the stuff she puts in there, like what she leaves out says more than the stuff she puts in. Yeah. <laughs> where, reading, where did you read that? I was, yeah. <laughs> I was reading it today. Dude, NPR. Shame on NPR. Why? They ran a headline today saying Beyonce's silence on Israel, Palestine is definite. Something to that point. Like her silence is so loud. And it was like, Go so like, I'm like, they can't be serious about this. I read the article and it was just them describing the podcast that they, they talked about it on. So they're kind of using it as a plug. NPR used the conflict to boost up their pro- their podcast and then said like Beyonce should be more vocal about yeah, the it's Palestine very, yeah. Israel conflict. It's very Israel of them. <sighs> <laughs> they think <laughs> Wait, they think is she should be pro more pro Palestine? No, they said they're just they saying just need she, needs, take. she were, needs to pick a side. NPR was totally neutral. They were like, we just need her take. Her, we need Beyonce's Her opinion. not talking <laughs> about this is fucked. And then they went on to praise, like, not in this article, but now they're, like, super praising her parenting style. It's, like, very, dude, her parenting style is so fucking good. What's so good about parenting her parenting style? It's not that shit in the Kardashian household you'd see. It's, like, yeah. they are, it's gentle with a little bit of, like, uh, uh, like a little. Uh-uh. Pizzazz. Like, little, yeah. Yeah. It's gentle parenting the way people That's just that Texas in. I mean, an elder millennial like myself needs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like where we're going. Keep an, going. An elder millennial Don't like stop. Beyonce <laughs> is showing people how to do gentle parenting with just a little bit of like, you better not. And they yeah. showed a clip of her being stopped. That's annoying. And they're like, oh my God. So that means that she's, you think she's hit him before? <laughs> the what? So that's why they respect her words? No, they're saying she doesn't hit. She models gentle parenting but also with a little bit of like yeah queen bee sass that's obviously. not coming from her it's coming from that, the kardashians one of the six mates look dude the kardashians would never do what she does dude yeah the kardashians yeah. can't handle it <laughs> it's like dude this is all just like ai media yeah. corporate propaganda that just gets because every time people. kim yells cum comes out of her mouth <laughs> <laughs> she does yeah she like randomly spits up like a baby yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> to, to hit her back. <laughs> it, was, it was a two week old that time. It just it came out heavy. <laughs> you know, piece of cornbread in the back of your molar. Kardashians. <laughs> Yeah, I was. I read the news for like. Old I don't think I could care less about anybody's opinion more than what. Who the fuck would be like? What do you think Beyonce thinks about? Dude, I, I, Israel Palestine. This is NPR too. NPR is a respected. Not anymore. It's like Vice. Dude. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, true. They're gone. True. <laughs> Dude, I walked. I got to walk past NPR in I think Spokane. They have like an NPR studio and it's just wide, big glass windows. And I'd walk by and go because <laughs> you can see him in yeah, there talking yeah, yeah. like that, Israel. And then just keep walking. That's nice. It was nice. You should have got a brick. True. <laughs> you really should. True. You should have got. You should have just put a free Palestine flag on <laughs> and thrown a brick through it. They'd have to be like, "Wow, he's, that's fine." Or put both. Put a that's did a flag that was half Israel, half Palestine, and just threw myself through the window. Yes. Yeah. And be like, Beyonce, where are you? <laughs> Beyonce, help! Speak. My queen. We, we need the queen's take. I want Taylor's been awfully quiet herself as well. She's been busy with boys. She's boy crazy. Dude. She is boy crazy. <laughs> she you has been. Now she's got a big football player. She what? You think she's actually getting? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't think that. I, I don't understand you why. Don't that's... believe in the conspiracy that it's not real. How? Could, why would it? Because he went from a thick-ass black chick that was gorgeous to this fucking frail skeleton. He's taking a break. Why do you? Why are you talking about Taylor Swift like? That? <laughs> Because I don't She's like her. She's a pretty her. lady. Who was like Kelsey's original other lover? Huh? Who was his lover before? Uh, some runway model with uh, buns of steel, dude. Really? Unbelievable. He's taking a break. He's taking a skinny white lady break. Yeah. I guess it is nice to take a shift. This is the two weeks away from yeah. thick black ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. He needs a break. Yeah. He needs, that has to be tired. His pelvis is sore. Yeah. He's getting thrown back. He's, you know, he's, he's getting thrown back on you. That's like a fucking piston, dude. Ah, oh, true. <laughs> and he switched to just a fucking... True. Yeah. yeah, frail, tiny, hiney, little, little boy ass. <laughs> nice, tiny, hiney, dude. You'd be surprised. Yeah, if you get to the depths of like basically all that ass and hit like a tiny hiney, you can start to be like, all right, this is this is nice. Yeah, ah, it's like a little diamond. Dude, just I made pressured. that shift once and it was the scariest thing in the world. A tiny hiney. Yeah, you could see like her, the top of her butt bone right above her yeah, asshole. Tailbone butt dimples. Right there. Tailbone comes out of your yeah. skin. Nice. You have to fuck standing up in the shower so you don't see any skeletal remains. <laughs> oh, shit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying he's a bit of a connoisseur. Kels is a connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I miss his old. I didn't know he was with. She wouldn't be a BBW, would she be? Would she be a classic no, BBW? Just no, a... she was just thick. Dude, there's a lot. BBLs now are like every chick's getting plastic surgery. Come every to the story, dude. It's e it's a, a, a just yeah. a. A circus full of Latinas with fake asses, with fake upgrades. tits, fake lips. Uh, called upgrades. Upgrade. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> I, I, I consider bad. it downgrade. Really? Yeah, they're really big. Go to any airport. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah. And I get tricked by them every oh time. Brittany's always like, that's a BB BBL or whatever. And I'm always like, really? Once they you figure out tripped? the next generation. Yeah, I they have like them. skinny thighs. I know. Yeah. With Some Latinas have skinny thighs and big butts, though. By some, I mean one. I have no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a BBL, though. Could have been an OG BBL. It is nice. It's a nice My life. whole life might be a fucking lie. Visual red flag to see someone with all that work done. You're like, that's a fucking... Yeah. It's that's a, a lunatic. It's a damaged a person. Yeah. I mean, dude, now I'm telling you, the fucking... What, uh, what's the shit called? They get, all get... So Botox? Botox. Yeah. That's like standard basic yeah, oh that's like that's like not to not get it is weird yeah. yeah and then it's like all the other stuff is like yeah i mean obviously I want to fucking god be. damn getting facial surgery is so funny <laughs> i weird. hope i go crazy enough uh, me too if dude. i go crazy enough dude. Too, ah, dude i hope you get Madonna like not crazy. get in shape in any way but just <laughs> just go nuts on my face fucking jawline. just do nothing with anything else <laughs> and just get a crazy face <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just Joan Rivers your nose Matt we've <laughs> got to do the Patreon <laughs> <laughs> no expression and five I'm, ads what the fuck dude a thick black hair piece <laughs> hair piece that's sliding it's off it's a turtleneck get the, the hairline down to here face. get the hairline down to the eyebrows get dude. some wig bangs dude <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean it's yeah, like you and Gillian Keys that's one way to do it yeah. is to just oh, end, end it God, <laughs> just keep property, doing stand bro. up people be so scared <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember jacking off <laughs> my whole act <laughs> you get a coach buzz an artificial <laughs> coach buzz a four inch uh, sticking straight up uh, even if you got cheap implants would be so fucking oh, funny nice. 
It'd be awesome. <laughs> Rich white dudes get those cheek implants. <laughs> you can see it from like yeah. the side. <laughs> I mean, you would not be able to resist the cat contacts. You uh, got feline contacts. Cat, the cat contacts is the ultimate. If you get the feline contacts, you've reached the pinnacle. Dude, in 10 years, it's just you on TikTok, like, <laughs> cut my life into yeah. pieces. <laughs> and it's just all fucking glow pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might get six pack in, implants. Six, six pack, pack implants, implants would be tight in a BBL. There's, <laughs> I sent you a picture of a male BBL. Male BBL? Men get BBLs too now, yeah. Brittany sent me a picture of a male BBL. Fuck it, it just made gays me laugh. or huh? straight guys with chump asses. They're like they're. I, I was telling that was the argument. I was telling her I was like, it's you got to be. You gay said guys. Trump. Chump. <laughs> I said Trump. I was gonna say Trump. Trump's Trump has a f- fucking ass, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Remember that tennis picture? Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be gay guys. Although gay guys are on the frontier of male beauty products, so whatever gay guys are doing like thirty years ago, should yeah. they start doing it. It's pretty frightening when they yeah. they, they sure. do it right. Tanning. Nobody did that. That was like. Highly, it was wild when I, I did it in training. college once. In, yeah, before I went down to Florida. Were yeah. you metro? Remember metro? That's not a thing anymore. I was metrosexual for yeah, sure. Metro, yeah. you still here? I've, I've heard somebody just say that. Like I'm metrosexual. I'm like every, everyone's met. What are you what talking about? Nowadays, it's like a guy who combs his hair is like a different sexuality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my hometown, was, yeah. If you wore cologne, did your hair put hair gel in? I used to crush this kid for wearing hair gel oh. every day. <laughs> Every day in school, yeah. I'd be like, get that shit out of your <laughs> fucking hair. He just got And then he saw me like five years later and I'd gel in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, what the fuck? I was like, what? It's cool when I do it. Yeah. I was basically the gay guy with my brothers. Like, I would come down with like when Carpenter jeans yeah. came out first, I'd have it like six months before that. Oh, you're stylish. Really? You're a stylish guy. And you're the then- hammer loops. <laughs> And they're don't just, take, they don't just take call it like that. Don't take it like <laughs> that. You, you are a stylish guy. Uh, wait, wait, <laughs> There's nothing wrong. <laughs> They just call music, me gay for art. three for three months. They call me gay, and then they'd have that style six months later for another six years. Yeah, that's yeah. so they would just they would just get stuck in that, and then just continue to call me gay every time I was in the forefront. And then take it on, yeah. And then fucking be like, all right, it's time. So there's always something every Christmas. Yeah. I'll have something they're gonna go, dude. What the fuck are you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I go, you you'll be wearing this in three years. It's like Russia with uh, new music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vanilla Ice. Who's this clown? You'll see. Yeah, it is weird that I'm getting old enough, dude. Getting old enough and like just noticing now, chicks wear like baggy pants. That's a baggy jeans or a thing, and I'm just like, sucks. Well, yeah, it'll come. I like it. It'll come back in our favor. Don't worry. But like, you watch it, and I'm just like, you get pendulum's gonna swing. Pendulum's swinging back, baby. I can feel bell bottoms are not. I swear to God, dude. Well, summertime. This is them. The what? Not only for you have to be so fucking hot to rock a bell bottom in my eyes. Mm, Yeah, you got to be long. You can't be under five five. Five, six. Mm, True. I like it. Yeah, you're right. I do like a tall girl in bell bottoms. Yeah. yeah you need legs. And the ass has to just flow directly man. into True. a nice thigh. I slipped and fell into the wet <laughs> cement below. <laughs> that is a cowboy in you. I have become, recently, I've become a bit of a cow poke. That's yeah. awesome. I was oh, just yeah. in the boot store yesterday. You went to Allen's? I went to it's Allen's. It's nice. It's really nice. It is. I mean, I, I felt like I was from the future, like, you know. Yeah. Just a fucking grease ball. Yeah. East Coast maniac. I, yeah, I, I, I telling you guys cannot put on cowboy boots, no, dude. That old no. Ben space time. I put a yeah. hat on. I was like, I gotta stop. I'm disrespecting <laughs> you guys right now. You know what I mean? I look fucking. Truly, you look sick. I, no, I genuinely look like a retarded. <laughs> <laughs> if I put a cowboy hat on, I look. Shane, actually, if I, if I gave you ten different hats, you'd look retarded. Yeah, true. Baseball cap is the closest one. <laughs> no, I bet you look Any, sick. You just have to commit. I think it's. Trust me on this, Chris. Chris sent down all my shit I left mm-hmm. in the apartment. A cowboy hat is in this building. You got to put it on. Put it on. I'll show you. You Let put it on. You put it on and black see. out. And it's... Yeah, but don't do it funny. You got to do it serious. No. That'd be nice. You got to put it on the right. You put angle. it on and wake up, and you're building like a development on some dude's fucking nature preserve. Like, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> this nice girl told me how to put it on. You have to like, you you put it. Oh, you got to put it on the it's front. It's got to be snug enough for the wind not to kick it off. True. So you have to get like a certain... I'm in between a seven and a quarter and second, seven and three eighths. The cowboy hat. You didn't pull the trigger on a cowboy hat? No, she said she'd have to stretch it for me to get... get I was like, I'm not wasting yo, your time. I'm not yo. buying a fucking six like, I'm reading what you, I'm picking up what you're putting down. How about you chill out, dude? I'm here yeah. to get a fucking cowboy hat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should though. I should just try it just to have one, you know? Dude, you're tell, you, you know exactly how you look in a cowboy hat. You love every second of it. Yeah, but then it starts to become like it's a costume. You know, even if I wanted to wear it, 
It's too. All of our clothes are costumes. Our personality is a costume, dude. True, man. Just get deep. Just get deep into it. I don't like you. What? Listen to this introspective music. Just talking like this. Your personality is a total costume. It is. It's just a thick. It's a thick thing of defense against yeah. our childhood. It's fucking- callous. Look at this, Yo! dude. Are you fucking Yo! kidding me? No! You're gonna talk shit on this? No, dude. Drips that thing's severe. nice. Drips severe. Tommy got me this jacket for my B day. Yeah. Damn, dude. It's pretty it's cool. Birthday this week. It's fucking nice. Monday. I was a damn builder. <laughs> you don't think you look sick, dude? I don't. I also don't know wh- what do you which think, way to dude? wear it. Garth. It's nasty as fuck. And it for real is nasty as fuck. 10 out of 10, drip severe. Thank I think you. you just have to commit to it for like a week and a half. I'll never wear it. Uh, cowboy Out hat. here would be yeah. perfect. Yeah. No, it's crazy to do that. It is the perfect hat, though, for a dude. I, it's the straightest yeah. hat possible. And when you're this big, if I had that size, I'd make, I'd make some decisions. Yeah. yeah. True. In the house and out of the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pure domination. With a hat like that? It's time to dominate. I'm going to put on the hat. <laughs> Chicks love that stuff. Yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy was explaining how you, say, you have to I put it on and you have a to Coca-Cola st- with my chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have the chicken tenders. <laughs> this would be perfect with your future face. You should start doing that for stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have a kids menu? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the quesadilla? <laughs> just cheese, no salsa. <laughs> you just on a Vespa? Just plain. <laughs> take it back to the window. What is this green stuff? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want that. You should take a nap on stage and put it down over your eyes and just like, let me rest <laughs> right here and Ooh. just take a nap. <laughs> Get and done. then just lift your hat up every five minutes. You go, well, let me tell you a little something about hey, this. Hey, folks, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking tight. Yeah. My, uh, yeah hey, awesome. let me tell you a little story. My uh, my uncle's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you a little tale about uh, my retarded uncle. His hunger required some grilled cheese sandwiches. Boy's meaner than a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> and boy's <is> sweeter than... <laughs> Your mama on the front door lemonade sitting around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Mama's backstrap molasses pancakes on a Sunday morning. Oh, you get some of them flapjacks that come out of the water. <laughs> flapjacks. Go back out for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like. <laughs> <laughs> There's an arena full of people on the edge of their seats. They're just like, this guy is a fucking genius. <laughs> He's asleep again. This is my favorite. He reminds part. me of guys from my hometown. That's what I like about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cowboy has to make it. They should actually make a comeback. They should not even a comeback because they haven't really been in there. But the special needs community could get in big into <laughs> You know what I mean? Just, oh, yeah. just be like, I'm just a cowboy. Y- yeah. Like I'm a simple kind of guy. I'm, a, I'm just a simple man. I have small, simple pleasures. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making like a <laughs> plantation on I told you Mexican uh, guys. Mexican guys do this. Oh, yeah. They come up here Dude. and they're like, we're cowboys. They are. Yeah. I mean, they technically were cowboys yeah. up here. The pointy Before shoes. We, all, we did a little Probably. map. We did a little map nah. changing on them. We're like, whoa, whoa, here, whoa, check it out. The country's totally different. Sorry, guys. I mean, you do. You should allow your special needs kid to just dress up every day, right? Because then oh, it's kind of like a, sure. it's like a little girl being a princess in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. wearing a whole getup. Yeah, I mean, I think people are letting their kids literally change fucking genitals. sexes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. You can let them wear whatever you want. If I, yeah, if you I let your special needs kid get sex change. If he's like, I feel like a lady. No. Wop him off. I go, brother. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I do it. I make a million dollars off it. I'm like, this is my journey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sell that doc. <laughs> yeah. Write the Netflix. True. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta let them. Yeah, you gotta let them party. Yeah, you gotta let people. You know, I can't stop visualizing your face, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just done like Madonna style. True. That's so funny. We should fun. let the Special Olympians compete with, in women's sports. Yeah, I bet you tear it up. Yeah, we'll be the ring card holders. Let the guys in. Yeah, the ring girls. They'd be the ring boys. For the WNBA? <laughs> yeah, come out. Tarted guys in <laughs> cowboy hats holding up what quarter Just it is. chiseled, too. Yeah. You know, they do Wes Watson's program and get fucking chiseled and racist. <laughs> racist. <laughs> get chiseled and become Aryan brothers. <laughs> that would be tight, too, if we got them into, like, gang politics. Let them form, like, a federation. Mm-hmm. 
Actually, that would be actually pretty tight. Galactic Empire have the Galactic <laughs> Senate have them all dressed like aliens. <laughs> Dude, <I'll bet. laughs> but then you get that like AI fear where like they're, they'll eventually take over. They're going to take, yeah, take over. They're going to take over. It's imminent. Yeah, if we let them, they might run it. Coordinate. Yeah, they might run it better. I don't know if it would be all war or all peace, but it would be one of them. They're yeah. fascists. <laughs> yeah. It'd be so fascist. You think they'd be fascist? Yeah, dude. It would be airtight, dude. I don't know. They might be good at sharing. <laughs> Utopianists. They might be like true. They might be like they're all happy for each other a lot of the time. True. You know what I mean? Like Special Olympics. Like if a dude wins, everyone's like, <laughs> yeah. But then someone's gonna catch wind did. of their peaceful nation and colonize it. Yeah, for real, <laughs> that is Wakanda. Some Spanish guy would yeah. be like, hmm. yeah, conquistador shows up. <laughs> Takes their French fries. Finds out they have a ton of Roblox. They have a ton of Roblox gold. Like, dude, we gotta get this. Apparently, there's like pedophiles on Roblox. What? I didn't know this. There's like pedophiles that chill on like Roblox and like. I mean, basically Xbox Live. You got to start pedo hunting on Xbox Live because there's pedos that chill on there. The hunter has become the hunter. (laughs) What do you mean Roblox? Like physical Roblox? It's like Minecraft. I I never played it, or I don't know much about it. Oh, it's a game. The hunter has become the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> the game within the game. The game within the game. I'm on Call of Duty lobby. It's just like, hey, what's up? I'm 12. My ass, my dick's hard right now. <laughs> just, just fishing. Just chum in the water. Just chum in the water. <laughs> you just hear Mike turn on, just like, what? <laughs> Got him. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was watching a thing today about a guy. Uh, he's just a, a guy. Apparently, Ohio has a pedophile problem. Which I makes every sense. state. Might. <laughs> but, yeah. Apparently, Ohio is like number one. The Buckeyes. The Buckeyes, Buckeyes state <laughs> number one. Ohio, for some reason, through something, has the most pedophiles. Ohio has the most, almost everything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's just a terrible place. Great to be coaches out. come out. Great presidents. Yeah. yeah I think <laughs> so they have the most. Negatives. I think they have the most presidents. I mean, makes sense. Yeah. It's a pressure cooker. It is a pressure. Ohio is it's a pressure. A pedophile cooker. pressure. What's cooker? that fucking shit? Billy, Billy kept saying. Ohio resident or whatever. Yeah, true Ohio resident. Yeah. Ohio card revoked. Yes. What is the Ohio card? Pedo license? I, some internet bullshit that we just, yeah. An NBA game can change in an instant. No matter what happens, you know DraftKings Sportsbook has your back. This week, new customers can score $150 instantly in bonus bets just for betting $5 on basketball. Win or lose, you get an instant dub. Betting on the game makes everything a little more exciting. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code DRENCH. You know what's exciting? You know the best part about gambling is? It's super exciting. What? When you have to tell your kid you lost their college fund. <laughs> <laughs> Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code DRENCH. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope ny Four six seven three six nine. West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. Please play responsibly. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-777 or visit ccpg.org. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort Kansas, must be 21 or older in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gambling resources. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. <laughs> terms at sportsbook at terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms. Are we supposed to read all that? No, you just enter a code. No. no, that's verbatim, brother. Yeah. Yeah, you have to read that. That's crazy. Well, that's anyway, Ohio that's, State it's law. good you guys got all that information. <laughs> <laughs> if we can help one guy. Exactly. In Connecticut. One eight hundred seven. One, one dot, gambling dot, addicts in Connecticut. Sports football. It was worth it. Uh, uh, dude, a thousand percent. Yeah. We're just we're this is our philanthropy. When you're trapped at Grand Malls this holiday season, you're gonna need your nicotine fix. Stepping outside for the in stepping outside for the freezing cold for your fix is miserable. Try to t- time to try something new with Lucy Breakers. They're the cool nicotine pouches that you can use anywhere. Each one has a capsule inside that breaks to release flavor and hydration. Mm. They come in six awesome options. Apple ice, mango, mint, berry citrus, espresso, and apple cider. What's your favorite flavor? Me? Yeah. Mangoes. That's perfect. You can even choose between four to eight milligrams of nicotine. So whatever you need out of your little escape, Lucy Mm. delivers. I love a little escape. Dude, it's the best. I like the hydration aspect. It does pop in your mouth and you get a little (laughs) fucking liquid in there and go... (laughs) 
Visit L-U-C-Y dot C-O. Use promo code DRENCH to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's L-U-C-Y dot C-O, promo code DRENCH, to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. It is. So yeah, it's only for people who are 18 and above. Yeah. So if you're trying to like make friends with someone who's younger, don't give them fucking... Lucy. Yeah, if you're trying to... Be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Don't try to be cool for someone younger than you and give them nicotine. Yeah. We don't stand for that. We don't. I'm telling you, man, I think Ohio has a serious pedophile problem. I, I <laughs> caught a shred of information on the internet. I'm here to report it. State it as fact. I believe <laughs> sure that it is it's, true. It's like, it's like K&A with heroin. I think they all stand out there and they're like... <laughs> 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 Come here. Add, enter your address in the, that app to see where they're all at? It's, oh, I've done it before. It's crazy. I did it in my old house and then I walked to the building and I stood outside and just menaced. I was like... You found where the pedophiles were? Their lair. Yeah, there was a... You should see the one by ours. Like the <clears throat> three, four block radius, there's like 20. What? Dude, all of New yeah. York is living. Not Piacito. No. No way. No, but, no. but he should... I mean, he's on the list regardless if you yeah. get old or not. Yeah. Guy there's rides a around a fucking unicycle There's a summer. lot of them around there? Huh? There's a lot of pedophiles? Yeah. Yeah, there was surprising... Yeah. Around my neighborhood, there was a... Remember I was telling you, I, talk, I tried to find it and their address was like... To the, like the one local, one of the local trade buildings, but I think they lived in a place above it, or they threw it off. But there was one for sure uh, towards like North Philly for my old place, and you would. I remember I saw the building, and it was just a fucking nest dude, because all the addresses were coming up the yeah. same. But like unit this, unit that, unit that. Truly a nest. Yeah. I sit outside, and I was just like, they probably go out. One of them goes shook, out and hunts. Shook my fist. Dude, brings it back. True. <laughs> no. They follow a little trail. It's got to be twenty yeah. percent that aren't really pedos. They just get slammed for like beating off in public, or a nineteen-year-old dating a sixteen-year-old. Yeah, but you can read their charge on Megan's list. Oh, really? Yeah, they'll say it like it doesn't just say. Mm -mm, it doesn't say like weird ass motherfucker. Yeah, either. yeah. Fuck this weird ass. <laughs> no, it says like what they did. Freak. Ball. But yeah, some of them you get thrown on the list. You can get thrown on the list for some bullshit. Yeah, just trying to catch a beat in the park. Yeah. How about that girl from Daytona? We saw <laughs> yeah. yesterday putting a dildo on. Yeah, her, yeah, on the yeah. Beach. There was a lady on the beach. Fingering herself and she got arrested. She snitched on herself right away. Yeah. What Seemed do you mean? Like the She's easiest... like, you didn't see it. Yeah. They come in, they came up to this lady who was hot. Yeah. She, she was, was showing hot the dildo herself hot. on the beach. She was sitting by herself on the beach. USA? In America. Yeah. Daytona. And yeah. they fucking ba bike week. She was horny. No, up. I don't think it was bike week. Oh, uh, it wasn't. But I think it, <laughs> it did seem Gulf Coast. Yeah. That was it very... for content? Or was it no, just... no, no. It was a body cam footage from the cops that oh, showed up like we got reports of what were you doing here? And she's just sitting at the beach bar. She went down to the beach, dildoed herself, <laughs> and then went back to the beach bar. Somebody fucking snitched. Who the fuck snitched? I don't know, but that'd be the cool, just sitting at a bar. She had a whole dildo in a backpack? Yeah. But she came in and they, she just told her, she was obviously mentally unstable. Yeah. yeah. She, but she told Great herself way. right away. Same. Like, yeah, I fucking... yeah. Damn, dude. She was like, were you touching yourself? The cops were like, were you touching yourself? She was like, you guys didn't see that. It's yeah, like, she's like, there's well, no way. I was just yes. like this. I put the towel over instead of just going, no. She's like, yeah, I had a, a towel over. I saw me. you. A family was down there. <laughs> like taking their fucking beach picture. Imagine being the judge of that case. Imagine being the cop. Yeah. When you're going through her bag. Finding he was her, a porker. He was tearing toys. On, he was a chubby man. Oh, he's yeah. probably. It's been used. Yeah. yeah. She had big heaters. Yeah, a little fucking. <laughs> Take it away. This is it. <laughs> this is the score. Yeah, there's pussy on that. There's pussy on that. Oh, there's... He puts it in a little vial. Shakes yeah. it up. Yeah, there's yeah, pussy, pussy there. juice. I'll bag it and tag it. Yeah. Just that was my friend's like dildo. I'm wearing my friend's pants. It was in my pockets. <laughs> yeah, right. Likely story. Co I haven't watched Cops in forever. Yeah. It's got to be tight. It's just every criminal they apprehend is just dead from fentanyl. They're like, come on, man, get up. It's get like, up, ah, motherfucker. Yeah. Crap. He's dead. Yeah, they, they had a good run. Cops? The, yeah, the show. Yeah, it was awesome. There's that one where the cop spears that lady and she stabs herself. You ever see that one? No. It's great. It's just a crazy lady in a van and they pull up and they're like, get out of the van. And she takes out a huge knife and it's like, ah. <laughs> and then a cop comes around the van and tackles her from behind. Oh, it's so funny. When he tackles her, he's like, Durr! <laughs> he spears her. But when he tackles her, she goes, <laughs> oh, and just lands on it. Oh. Lands on it. They roll her over and all you see is the handle sticking out. The whole thing's oh, in there. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah, pretty rough one. Fuck. What was she doing? Gargling? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. She she went out cold pretty quick. She's really? Like, yeah. <laughs> damn, I was a damn builder. I was a van driver. <laughs> The ultimate bellyache. <laughs> yeah, that's the big it was time the bellyache. ultimate bellyache, dude. 
So you got oh, belly aches. Oh, oh, oh. It's like oh, the oh, stop oh, it, the grape stop yeah. it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, you, if, you get, if you're a lady with a knife, that's, dude, there's nothing worse. Than, knife like, in your gut? If, you're, if you have a son and he, like, stabs himself fighting a cop, you're like, you're sad, but you're like, it's bound to happen. He's a badass. And having your daughter stab herself while wrestling a cop is just like, fuck Isn't that Christ. the most pain? That they say getting shot in the getting stomach? Getting stabbed. I don't yeah, know. It's like the yeah. most painful of all. Gut the... shot. I can imagine it. I don't know. I stay. bet that hurts the most. Just all your lunch leaking into your. Yeah. All the Chipotle getting out. Oh. <laughs> the pole being released. The pole <laughs> the being, being released. Being released into the <laughs> beans. <laughs> your body just beans. disintegrates. I might become more powerful if the po- Chipotle gets released into everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now it's just in the gut and I'm pretty powerful. It just heals the wound. It could heal everything. <laughs> Just Wolverine. It's an unchewed piece of beef <laughs> pops in the hole. <laughs> you have little bean, <laughs> little bean shaped fucking things out of your yes. skin. That'd be, that'd be actually kind of nice. Yeah. I think Chipotle's having a renaissance. I really think they are. Chipotle down here is they pretty good. They fuck. Hey. True. I mean, down here? Close to the masters. Close, close to, to the, the masters. True Chipotle kings. You guys probably walk in there and <laughs> spit it out. I'm like, I'm offended. <laughs> what is this mush? Yeah, the Chipotle, Chipotle is coming back. I think so. They got the carne asada. They were falling. What is it? What's the Chipotle looking like down here? What's the staff? I haven't even seen them, bro. Oh, I'll, I'll oh you're just all digital. Bring it to me. <laughs> Bring the. Chipotle you're like the emperor in China. Dude. You're the Chinese yeah. emperor. What's dude? your seamless like down here at Grubhub? Whatever. It's good. It is. Yeah. I thought it'd be. But hard. I mean, I'm not even trying shit. I'm just getting Chipotle. True. Really? Yeah, I'm crushing Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> You've crazy. had Chipotle multiple times a day. <laughs> no. Not multiple times a day. I think you can't have it multiple times hit, a day. I have definitely hit back-to-back days of Chipotle. Yeah. I was eating Chipotle when you walked in. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Have you eaten Chipotle twice in one day? Me? Yeah. No, I've never no, eaten the same I food. I don't twice. think you can. I don't yeah. think it's physically possible. Yeah. In one day, I mean. One bowl. Of, I can eat one Chipotle bowl and not eat for the rest of the day. It's, 100%. That's what I ate yesterday. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the only thing I ate There's a place by us is uh, two days ago, yeah. knockoff Chipotle. It's uh, What's it called? Hot Peppers. Hot Peppers, I split yeah. the bowl in half. He it's two crushed, meals. He loved hot peppers. Hot peppers is so good, peppers. dude. Yeah, that was really good. Because they're not commercial. They can give you healthy, bountiful scoops. True. <laughs> dude, I got I got a, I don't want to have anyone lose their job. I hit a sweet green yesterday or a couple days ago. Sweet green fell off. I was wearing yeah, sweet green that. here for a while. They fell off. The one near me is fucking. It's back. Dude, they have herb roasted. They're herb roasted chicken for real. And it's not cutting a little What are the cute. portions like? Bro, sweet green portions notoriously. They've been screwing me. Notoriously, girl portions. You go there, yeah. it's just like, dude, yeah. what do you just is lettuce? That? It's like, yeah. dude, come on, dude. I had a, I had chicken. a sweet lettuce. I said double chicken, please. What's yeah. that? Sixty four dollars. It was a twenty dollars salad for sure. It's crazy dollars salad. But she's dude. This a sweet angel gave me my two things, and I was like, I'm you know I'm getting ready to get the sweet green sting. I'm going, fuck, are you serious <laughs> right now? And then dude, it was two more, and I went. Reasonable. Now we're talking a little. Dude, four more fucking tongfuls of chicken. I literally said, God bless you, ma'am. Damn, Thank she wants you. God bless you, ma'am. Dude, she hooked me up with the fattest fucking sweet. It was awesome. Mm. And those her- their herb roasted chicken is a frill. It's a full chicken filet. I think they half them. So it was like one half, one half, one half, one. I had like four full filets of yeah. boneless uh, thigh. Oh my God. I mean, I said, ma'am, God bless you, ma'am. Ma'am, you. you're going to fucking make me juice. Don't, it, dude, for real. And the sweet dressing. Cream. Said medium dressing. I said that's extra heavy. Oh my god, man! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm so a, this I'm man blessed be, you, fully blessed me. Yeah, dude, that's the thing too. I'm gonna start if I see like a real thin lady at anywhere like that, like a service bar. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, I can I please have someone else? Can I have uh, someone a little more girthy? Yeah. He understands portion size. Yes, you get like a thin, like frail communist college lady, and it's yeah. just like they used to say that. You, what, are you, you starving can't me trust to death? Skinny you trying to kill me or whatever? Yeah. The what? You can't trust a skinny chef. You can't. That's not true. You see some fat bag of shit sweating all over your chicken. <laughs> you'll, change, you'll change your tune, dude. Yeah. You see some guy Chipotle dripping off his forehead. Yeah. Smelling like a hot dog. Yeah, Fuck but you that. need a big lady. You can't trust with the portions, I man. Do, you get yeah. a skinny lady who's like a vegetarian donut at the like the meat master at Chipotle. It depends. If they're dude. Asian, it's nice. Skinny Asians. You think they dole it out? Because they eat like like fat men. <laughs> they just burn it off. True. You ever date an Asian girl, like a little Asian girl? No, not like, not, like not enough to monitor her calories. I've never seen, I've never, yeah. <laughs> not in those two weeks. Uh, yeah, I've had, I've had a tryst, but I've never been like, I've never monitored her portions. <laughs> I get upset when my girl orders a salad because it's like starts at 15 and then you got to add chicken. Oh, yeah. It's like another seven. Yeah. Chicken and shrimp. No, you got to go chicken and shrimp. 
And it's like, God damn. You getting shrimp? Bro. If I'm salad, adding, if I had, pro- I have a problem. If I'm adding proteins, <laughs> it gets out of control <laughs> real fast. And then I, sometimes they'll be like, "Oh, you want both? That's a lot." And I go, "Don't tell me what the fuck my stomach can handle." <laughs> Don't fucking judge me. Oh, that's it's actually pretty big. People eat it as a meal. I say appetizer. Yeah, I'll, we'll see what's going on. <laughs> I'll be the appetizer, judge of that. Yeah, appetizer, please. Yeah, I got it from my daddy. He's the king, dude, of making of ensuring portion size at restaurants. Yeah. He goes, "Let me get a salad, big salad." Yeah, and like, well, he's like, "No, like a big entree size salad." And they're like, "All right," nice. crushes it, and then it's steak. Yeah. <laughs> Picking out is just what we do, bro. Yeah. It's nice. How's you your balance? A, you should see me put a hurt It was holes. a pile. Today was a fucking pile. <laughs> That's nice. I double burgered last night, though. Really? Double burgered, followed it up with an Al Pastor taco when we were out. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, you Dude, ate two um, cheeseburgers? Mm-hmm. Like full-size burgers? Not mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Are these, wow. You cooked them at home? Yeah. Or, oven, okay. bur- oven burgers. Oh, okay. That's oven fair. Bur- yeah, oven burgers. You definitely need two burgers if, you, if it's you a do. home. But I'm talking grilled. guacamole on top of them, cheese sauce, barbecue sauce. You cook your burgers in an oven? Dude, yeah. They're very good. That's crazy. Oven burgers are. I'm t- I was doubtful, too, because oven burgers were a thing that a I boiler? had. boiler or just straight oven? Straight up. No. Straight up, brother. Brother, I'm telling you. Oven burgers seasoned up. My brother. God. Brother. And then you can, brother, you can just munch you. them, dude. You make like 50 of them in one shot. They all come out at once. In the restaurant industry, we call it fire. They all fire at once. <laughs> <laughs> Order 42 all day. Fire. You know they have slang in the kitchen. Order 42. Fire all day. Do Train they, by day? They do Joe Rogan's podcast yeah, all day. Train by day? All day? <laughs> What's, what is that? Repeat all day everything. means like it's done or something. I fucking forget. They go, Order 42, fired all day. There's a bunch. They have slang, dude. They for yeah. real think they're in the army. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> we are just all pill heads. I went to college, learned how to boil potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I learned more from my fucking grandmother, dude. My abuela taught me how to cook. Really? Dude, in my abuela's kitchen, dude. Oh yeah, I God. didn't know you were such a foodie. <laughs> You're a foodie. <laughs> dude, my abuela's kitchen was like any other, dude. What did you learn? Spices? <laughs> she taught you all the spices? She taught me all the spices. Not even just that, but just the love that goes into the food. It's like uh, a whole thing for my family. All the amour. I just like the secrets of cooking and the yes. patience that like she taught me everything about cooking. And I like to reflect that through my cooking. Yeah. It's every dude on the food. Sure. That's why yeah, I put yeah, my yeah, burgers yeah, in the yeah. oven. My abuela in the kitchen, I was a young boy and she'd be pounding flan. <laughs> <laughs> she'd be shaping flan balls and she'd say, this is the secret to life. Yeah. And I learned that. That's what I reflect in my cooking. In my baking meatballs on the Food Network. <laughs> <on job>. yeah. <laughs> my, uh, I never knew my abuela. Most of my abuelas had passed before I ever met them. I had one abuela alive. Did you really? And she was not a cook. She was mean. <laughs> there was no love in what she was making. Yeah. Not, she yeah. wear a bra? Yeah. My Irish abuela showed me the ways of cuisine. I, mean, I always just picture big Irish grandmothers with their tits swapping. No, no, no. Why do you think Irish grandmas have the tits? Because all well, my aunts. Just... Italian guys fetishize Irish women, and I hate it. They do it yeah, all the time. They do it they a fetishize lot. Fetishize Irish women. <laughs> they do it. Oh, oh my aunts a product of it. <laughs> yeah, it's your wop daddy you got in there. <laughs> Crush your your wop daddy cream pod your Irish mommy. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is talking down like she's like a big cloud. I come down as a big fat Irish potato ass. I fucking jizzed all over. Yeah, yeah. that's I actually fucking... literally that's how he talks. Yeah, <laughs> that's a hundred percent how he talks. Yeah, it's fucking f- flesh freckled freckle monster. Motherfucker. <laughs> like, every time you do that, I'm like, that's my whole family. But all right. it's literally my entire family. Go but ahead. usually when they're mean, they they don't wear bras. That's why I actually said no. It. She was like is a it... very conservative mean. You know what I mean? Like yeah. uptight. She would never let, my grandma would never let her titties out. Yeah. True. Old Patty Kilkenny. Double bra. Never going to let the titties out. Patty Kilkenny? Yeah. My parents are from Kilkenny. Nice. Yeah. Swag. My mother, not my father. All right. Guys, we're fucking, we're back again to talk to you about how you should be shaving your balls. And if you're not, that's a problem. This isn't about looking hot. Ooh. This isn't about looking hot for a partner. This is about giving yourself the Christmas gift of some silky smooth balls with Manscaped. Their their new performance package 5.0 includes the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Body Trimmer, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, their Crop Fucking Cocksucker, <laughs> their Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion, and Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Personally, 
I like it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I've rubbed this shit all over my dick, dude. I, I personally that. endorse it. I rub it fantastic. all over my cock and balls. And uh, there's been nothing but good reviews about my pubic hair ever since. <laughs> For sure. When girls pull my panties down and I lift my ass up. Yeah. They, oh, I, I dude, go, I used to have to, I used to have to bear the humiliation of going to a Latino barbershop and just pulling my pants yeah, down. Yeah, having, having them do that. Yeah. And they put the oil on it my after icicles, the fade. <laughs> you get a Caesar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now uh, I get the privacy of my own home. When you guys get the Performance Package 5.0, Manscaped will even throw in two free gifts, a super comfortable, comfortable pair of boxers. Mm. And a bag to store all your shit. Perfect. So, uh, guys, this is very important. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code drenched at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code drenched. Guys, you need to fucking support this company. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's time to admit that your man cave sucks. Oh. Give your space a serious upgrade with Displate. Mm -hmm. Displate are solid metal posters that you can install in just a few seconds. You get to show off the stuff you love in a way that makes your space look cool. Yeah. Displates come with a magnet that you stick to the wall, and then the metal poster sticks to the magnet. That's how magnets work. <laughs> it's that easy. Dude, you've yeah. seen our display. We don't have to show it off. Yeah. Bam, fucking sick ass display dude, all Big over the place. Fucking lady, nice hot tits. ass fucking lady. When you bring, I'll tell you what. When you bring girls back to your apartment, mm. you got display posters all over the place. Of your favorite stuff. There's no shot you're not gonna fucking get your nipples sucked, dude. When you can show a lady a metal thing on your wall and say, "That's just some of my favorite stuff." That's some of my favorite stuff. I'm trying to make my space look cool. That's Boba Fett. <laughs> He's a bounty hunter. <laughs> He's a space bounty hunter. With a simple mounting system, you can easily switch your displays out whenever you feel like changing your artwork. Choose from tons of officially licensed designs from popular movies and shows like Star Wars, Marvel, and Stranger Things. Stranger, oh, Stranger, I thought it was Strange Things. Stranger, Stranger things. things. Like the Upside Down, how fucking scary The is Upside that? Down scary. Also, you could just get displays of all the characters. You yeah, could the, have yeah. portraits of children in sure. your apartment. <laughs> and check out their cool landscapes. Man cave designs and even maps of your favorite cities, dude. I never thought about putting a map on the wall. Map of Austin here. That'd be so. Fucking we just moved to Austin. It's cool to be to be ingratiated. Dude, if you put a map of this place that you live on, you might be so fucking sick. Save up to forty percent off when you click the link in our description and get ready to hang art. Discount will be automatically applied your to your cart when you click the link. Or use code DRENCH when you visit Display.com. That's Display.com code DRENCH. Or click the link in their show notes. Mm. Drip severe. Guys, the number one thing your mom wants from you is for you to fucking call her. This holiday season, you can give her a call, of course, and give her Aura digital picture frame. So you'll have another amazing way to stay in touch with your mommy. Personal endorsement, I love it. Dude, I sent my mom updated bathtub pics. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when you're a little baby in the yeah, bathtub, yeah, yeah. You I sent her the brand You new. take a new one. I'm like, mom. Isn't this cute? I'm standing up in the tub. You go, ain't shit changed, ma. <laughs> ain't shit changed. You gave me you, your jeans. Cursed True. me. You gave me life. You cursed me with a penis, a working man's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to work hard because his penis is small. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Aura Frames was named the best digital photo frame by Matt's mom, <laughs> by Wirecutter <laughs> and the strategist and Fast Company. Fast said somebody? this simple. Stylish digital picture frame can replace social media in your life. You don't even need social media. <laughs> yeah, you can just upload like all like your cousins. Upload all your cousins, like, your hot girl cousins, you knew in high bikini school, pictures. Your, you can upload every girl you know in high school. That would be fucking sick. On your aura, it'd be nice. Yeah. So next time you need to call your mom, you can also also send her a new pic of you from that trip you, you've been telling her about right from your phone. Beautiful. Wow, that is cool. It would be awesome. Instead of sending it to her phone, you can send it to the aura picture frame. And then send it to her. Like, hey, mom. It's me at the Chicago Bean. <laughs> Here I am at the Bean. I mailed you an important This package. is right before I got in a fight with my wife. <laughs> Here's us at the Bean. And then we got in a very serious fight. She said a lot of things <laughs> that she can't take back. This holiday season, listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting <laughs> AuraFrames.com slash MSSP. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com slash MSSP. Use promo code MSSP to get $30 off their best-selling frames. Terms and conditions apply. Let's go. Kilkenny's. I like Kilkenny. Good people. Good food. <laughs> it's, when you're in Kilkenny. TVs are a little small for the game. Your family. Oh, you know what I mean? When you go to Kilkenny, 
That's familiar. For sure. My grandma's gnocchi <laughs> was classic Irish gnocchi <laughs> with the moose. <laughs> I remember when my battle met my fucking grandparents. <laughs> What's, what did Jewish people call their grandparents? Baba. The bobble. <laughs> bobble. No, that's <laughs> Russian. Place to be the bobble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bubba. Bub. Bubba. I think it's Bubba. like a Bub. Bu- Bubba. 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 Oh, my Bubba met my abuela. <laughs> <laughs> pop up swag, though. Pop up and Pop up is sick, dude. Pop up. That, that's that's what we went with. Yeah, Me too. Pop-up, mama. Yeah. Was in my Pop up's kitchen, he would bust out a tin of. Hard cookies. Yes. If you if you got the tag grandmom, you were not respected by the mother or father. Grandmom? Yeah. Like if they made you say that once grandmom, there's a problem in the Yeah, family. it's not Nana. It's not yeah. Nana, Nona, Mamom. Yeah. Gigi. I don't like Nona. Yeah, it's too ethnic. Nona's yeah. too it's much. too wappish for sure. Yeah, Gigi's yeah. wop Gigi's cool wop. Mom. That's what my mom is. Gigi. Yeah. yeah. My mom and really? pop ups is so sick. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, my mom and pop up and it's fucking swag. And I also think changing from my mom and pop up to something unique is because they have a connotation to it, like with their history. Like you're, you know, you don't want to name somebody and it reminds you of like an ex girlfriend or something. Mm. Yeah. So you got to switch it up. I'd gladly inhabit pop up. I have all mine's just dude. He would like give us beer when we were kids. He's a fucking man. It was Bud. It was Warren Budweiser's. If, if you're, if my parents left, he'd be like, "Yo, go drink a beer, dude." Yeah. Don't be a pussy, and I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, dude." How old are you? 14. Nice. You just give you beers. And yeah. Like, Yo, let's go. Let's party right now. I think I'll do that. I think I'll give children beer. You have to. <laughs> You'd be like, go get me a Budweiser. Yeah, just be like, Yo, shock yeah. on that. Oh, yeah. dude, for sure. <laughs> Chug that with me. Dude, <laughs> please hang out with me. Dude, my brother used to True. go around to the end tables during like house parties. Yeah. And just chug all the wine. And one night we shared the same bed. And one night he just woke up like exorcist throwing up <laughs> hot red blood, which I thought he was fucking yeah. dying. So I'm screaming. He's going, <laughs> just fucking booting red <laughs> table wine. Yeah. Not knowing how to drink as a kid. Yeah. Throwing up six. everywhere. is so fucking well, There was funny. all these dudes that would like pillage house parties. Like there was people would have a party. And then there'd be like four kids who would come and like steal all the parents stuff and just leave. Yeah. Yeah. It happened a lot. There weren't that many Puerto Ricans. You did that. You town. pillaged. You wop. <laughs> we used to steal. Did you really? What'd you take? Yeah. Uh, DVDs. F- DVDs, family pictures, smoke alarms, remote controls. <laughs> oh, you like fucked Wait, their house Wait, what? Up. You had a whole system? Yeah, I'm not proud of it. Yeah. It's troubled past. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I can't tell if he's fucking around. Alarms. No, I'm not fucking around. One time we got caught and we put it all in a big black garbage bag and like threw it on Off their the lawn and drove away. Back on their lawn? Yeah, the classic wops, dude. We got to get rid of this body. <laughs> yeah. It fell off the truck, mom. Yeah. Wait, were these yeah. uh, I, I were these family parties like your friends? Alarms. No, like, like a, a kid will have a party at their parents' house and oh, oh, just yeah. pillage everything gotcha. for no reason. My uh, Upper Decker's at those. Was pretty, oh, bro, an Upper Decker was just yeah, absolute great. disrespect. My brother Oof, would go to the disrespect. <laughs> they took hey. an upper deck. They pinched a fucking loaf. They pinched. They dropped an upper deck at my Nona's. <laughs> Not in the kitchen where Kids, she makes yeah. it. What a fucking smoke alarms. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I knew someone who used to go to frat parties and the whole time, like walk around and try to find the stash because there'd be a knot of five somewhere. Mm. You oh, do that, or you steal the taps off the keg. You go to the tap, you would take the taps. Is there like 75 bucks? Yeah, 75, deposits? yeah. Rip the tap and you go find, like, you go to the bedrooms and someone have a knot of fives and you just swipe it and fucking run. Who's that person? My brother Tom. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he tried to steal a keg and he got fucking, they were like, get the fuck out of here. My brother, my other brother Kevin, like, just got his ass kicked and Tom was like, peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a good dirt ball. Yeah, it's a good move. F- finding the bag at a frat party and stealing it is Yeah, I never even considered that. Oh, That's dude. great. He would just yeah. get hammered and be like, I'm going to go grab. I'm going to rob these I'm going to go grab 350 bucks yeah. right now. He found a dude laying one time. I mean, that's a high-risk maneuver. Yeah, it it's that's wild. a whole house of dudes yeah. that want to jump a it's guy. Suicide it's suicide by frat. Yeah. yeah. That's suicide by frat. It's all going sure. to your dentist. <laughs> the what? <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. 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 yeah, he did. He had <laughs> His final hurrah was pretty nice where he just got naked at a party. He doesn't remember any of this. He got naked and was just munching the leaves off of plants. He was pretending to be a dinosaur. Mm. Had to wake up. And From like, just alcohol? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, that is funny. That's the problem. That's very funny. That's the problem with when you're very drunk and you're like, I know this is funny. Yeah. You know? He's, he was totally right. You wake up and you're like, 
so embarrassed, but you're like, fuck, that is, <laughs> I, that is hilarious. Dude, get naked at a party and munching maple the trees. Fuck, that's funny. <laughs> munching the trees at a party naked is... That dump must have been chaos. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. There's no way your body breaks. He might have been spitting out. He might have been spitting out. <laughs> yeah. I hope he was spitting out. He might have out. spit up. Yeah, or just real quickly while no one was looking, a little sleight of hand. Mm. I, think everyone, I don't think anybody took their eyes off. <laughs> 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 I don't think the party went back to normal at any point. True. I'm sure there were shrieks. You can't get naked at a party. It's not a gag no one likes anymore. Yeah. Get I remember it. open mics, people would do that. Really? Yeah, I remember some of the good, good fellas. Remember that? Oh, uh, you're right. They, they had a, That was a fun ga- gag. They would get their dick and ass out. Yeah. And then two years later, they were like, they're sexual you're being sexual. Insensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were insensitive. Yeah, that whole squad was sus. I'd mm-hmm. like to get them. I like, you put I like them to in the hire app, them. I bet the flag comes I want to hire them and have them stand in the back <laughs> like a Mortal Kombat level. Hire just, them now? Yeah, just to stand yeah. in the back, just totally stern. It would be. That's a, a Yeah, that'd be nice. And then occasionally point to one of them and go, do a bit. You have one minute. Go, <laughs> and then go back to your set. And go, you see how fucking bad that was? <laughs> get off the stage. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, they yeah they they were wild bros. They were you know they're having fun. Everyone was having so much. Everyone fun, was dude. having fun, dude. I was you know what I was thinking about recently? Grinding at parties. Yeah, of course. Walk yeah. up to a party, stranger, grab their stomachs and just fucking hump ah, them, dude. That was so normal back in the day. And everyone would be like, and it, 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 their friend would be like, yes, or she would fucking be like, yeah, yeah you're good. The or other one. Most yeah. times it'd be like, yeah. And then you get wow, like, wow, fuck you. Basement. What? I don't know. She could probably believe that until you. But this one girl had a basement where it was just dungaree fire every Saturday yeah. night. <laughs> just yeah. humping the shit out of your girl. Listening to EI. Dude, this was up until college. I, in bars in Philly, like when I was in college, it was totally, at least like sophomore year, it was not weird to like walk up to strangers and try to get your grind on. Yeah. It was totally normal. Yeah. And then it just, one day. Yeah. The last, the last few people walked into like an absolute industrial fan on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like beat up by the cops. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was back in the day. That was like, do they still grind? Does anybody grind? I'm sure the kids are. Still I think doing it. kids like face each other and jump up and down now. Yeah, I don't think yeah, they, yeah. they jump up and down and go. Yeah. Well, it's a different type of kid, you know. Yeah. It's well, it's different. like ravers. Ravers just jump up. I think they grind. I think they grind, and they now they do grinding. like mystical Madonna hands. I think. Yeah. Time. There you go. It's pretty nice, Sean. Yeah, Sean was dancing last night in the green room. You were dancing. Really? Yeah. You were. Yeah. You got angry last night. I liked it. He's got a good move. Sean got, has great moves. He does have that Italian fire in him when he drinks a little. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't that angry. You, were talking you get shit. angry. You were angry. You were angry. I was angry. Yeah. I was Why were you mad? I was, I was just tired. tired. Italians drinking. True. I just Italian, got tired. Italians the explosion. disrespect. <laughs> no, I'm I'm very nice to everybody every else. Every Italian get, goes to like the fall of Rome in their head every night. <laughs> <laughs> Rome declines. <laughs> There's a height where you dance in the green room, little packed Romana. Then you get out there and the, <laughs> the vandals are at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> the vandals have arrived. Um, Damn. That was nice. Me and Sean had a nice weekend. What'd you guys do? Crap City. Oh, yeah. I was like, Crap, 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 Crap Matt, City. I got to tell you. Kappa City. The new hours. Oh, please. please. So good. Oh, please. Let's go. I hadn't seen a lot of it. I was. I went to Matt's Thursday show and then watched uh, from the balcony, dude, from the, the fan. Spied me from the, the back. Top. I was so nervous. I was like, dude, you this, killed, it's man. all fucking crap. It's you killed. Stink. No, it was awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, the new stuff's wonderful. It's getting there. I'm having fun. I have been having a lot of fun. Dude, I... I saw, I spied a guy in the crowd this weekend. I was just like bullshitting. I was literally, I forgot what I was talking about. So I started talking to this guy. I was like, well, how are you doing, man? He looked up at me. He's like, good. And I, it just caught me totally off guard. He's like a 35 year old dude with braces. And I just fucking Holy started laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, you have fucking braces. Yeah. I lost it. Adult dude. braces are oh so Oh my tough. God. It's tough. Fucking killed me. My, my like <laughs> close friend's dad got braces when he was like, I'm not kidding, 55. <laughs> and it was like, holy shit. Dude, dude. that's like getting divorced at 70. It's, it's like, just let your dice yeah, go, dude. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, that's ulterior. That's like hire a private eye. If your 50 year old husband gets braces, it's like, get a private eye, right? Also, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. Uh, a Visalign. You can get clear braces. I know. That's what I was saying. At least How get some, fucking poor is this? Toss them Invisalign, dude. It fucking made me. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point. Well, I as mean, well. it's got to be something. Yeah, because the bra- regular braces are probably like thirty five hundred, and then Invisalign's like five grand. So yeah, it was it was a budget. Yeah, it was a budget. The man was working with a budget. But <laughs> yeah. His smile's gonna be killer. I kept telling him, I'm like, bro, when you lick your teeth, my god, dude, wait yeah. till you feel that teeth. Oof, well, no. that is a nice feeling. 
You get your favorite color sports team, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the black and yellow. Dude, the, <laughs> get the black and yellow. Blue, blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Every other tooth. I should get braces when I get my facial surgery. Yeah, for sure. Would, just toss them on. <laughs> get unnecessary. Get like, you know, people get like fake prescription glasses. Yeah. Just get unnecessary. Totally unnecessary yeah. braces. Harry Carey glasses. <laughs> <laughs> dude if you rocked unnecessary braces that would be kind of a flex <laughs> if you just kept braces on like a grill for the yeah. rest of your life dude yo you know, like, like thousands of college kids would be getting braces because you <laughs> <laughs> all right gonna we've, uh, white spots. we've reached it right? let's head over to the patreon let's go goodbye